what up y'all here's that video i promised but at least i'm gonna try um so uh, not much with me has changed at all um just having a really i had a meltdown yesterday i'm just having a really 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 tough time it's hard man to go from making a lot of money to like nothing trying to support this family on nothing I blew through my savings just being depressed and like buying the kids all these Pokemon cards and like I've bought the kids so much crap you guys don't even know <laughs> it's bad um, just searching for something man searching for a smile some happiness some, I don't know like started going to church I'm hoping that helps um, got my kids in the youth group like trying to do some things that are important to my lifelong my life goals you know um, nothing with my health has changed on Easter Sunday I was in bed all day and it's like I'm a tough dude I can handle all this stuff I've had medical issues my whole life there's nothing you can do about migraines I've been on so many kind of pills I try to drink a lot more water like I don't work so I'm not stressed out and everybody always said it was stress it's not stress um, I mean you take you remove somebody from a stressful environment at work where you know things weren't good and you know I blame myself for a lot of that you know it's uh, self-inflicted and you know what's your freaking What's everybody supposed to think about you when you're never at work? You're sick all the time and crap. And when you are at work, you're grumpy because you're stressed out. Um, I don't even know what else to say. Like, it's just been, it's been tough. And I want to get back on YouTube and like make videos and be happy again. I don't have the funds to break cards and stuff. Um, every little bit of extra money I have I give it to my family. You know, I barely buy myself anything. I uh, we were at the store the other day, and there was something that I wanted. I don't remember what it was. But it was at the grocery store. It was like ten bucks. I wouldn't buy it for myself, but I bought the kids like hot pockets and pizza bites and bagels. It's just nuts, man. Like you have all these people that rely on you. You barely make anything, and. Uh, My wife could go back to work, but like, it sucks when she's at work. You know, there are days where I'm absolutely miserable. Like today, I just know, I know that I have a bad headache coming. Um, before I get these like horrible headaches that last a couple days, my vision's real bad. And I don't know how like well you can see, but my eyes get like, I've been awake for three hours. <laughs> it looks like I just woke up. Um, I can barely, like, I can't read. I even put my glasses on, and with my glasses on, things are blurry. So I take my glasses on, take them off, put them on, take them off, and, like, it's just weird to sit there and analyze and stare at stuff. Come on, Katie. My stupid wife and these damn curtains, man. It's all they do all day long is blow on you. Um... <laughs> As you can see, I'm agitated, but it's pretty much why I don't come on and make videos. It's like, I do have happy moments, and but I don't really let people in on, like, behind my walls, you know? You see me check the mail, my neighbors are like, hey, Bobby, and I'm over helping yesterday move stuff out of somebody's house, and uh, if only they knew, man, behind closed walls, what's going on with me. It's, uh, I'm struggling not like I'm not where I was although yesterday I did say a couple times that I wish I would have died when I had my stroke and stuff but um, I don't mean it I think I meant it when I said it yesterday but don't mean it at least today I'm glad I'm alive you know I thank God every day when I wake up it's hard when you're I know I'm bringing my family down and I feel more like a burden than a man. It's really tough, y'all. You have good health, like, be thankful. And uh, I know 
Some of you probably work jobs that absolutely suck. It's terrible. Try to take a moment. Easier said than done, but try to take a moment and be thankful that you are working. You're healthy enough to work. Sure, I can go get a job. I'm just not reliable, you know? And the medical retirement that I got from my government job doesn't pay much, but you know, it's uh, if I go get a job, say at like Target, you know, if I make a certain amount, they take away my retirement from my government job and my government job is my health benefits for all my kids. I owe a hundred thousand on my house. I could sell it for five. I could take that money. I could use it, but guess what? Where am I gonna move? I can't move anyway. The schools here are great. Like I'm so tied for my family that I just give them everything. I put them at the forefront and uh, selfishly, I just feel like I'm, I don't know, like I'm not bitter or resented, it's a resentment or nothing. It's nothing like that. Like I don't resent them or anything. It's just, I tell the wife quite a bit that I love y'all kids. If you ever watch this, do not ever think differently. Um, and maybe one day you'll understand if you have a kid, you'll understand. But I wish we didn't have five kids, man. Like it's, uh, it's absolutely tied my hands and it is so stressful. Gage is failing school. Bobby's struggling. The other night, Bobby, He's supposed to be in bed by 11 o'clock and I keep catching him after 11 on his computer still. So he's grounded, got his computer taken away. Um, like I said, Gage is failing. We're constantly dealing with teachers and tutoring and it's just a lot. And then if, with so many kids, like you never have a perfect day. You're not gonna have a perfect day, but like you rarely ever have a good day because no matter what, one of them's always having a problem. We just went camping recently. My dad paid for it and uh, my oldest daughter came with her boyfriend and she had a mental health meltdown while we were there and uh, just wasn't good. Ruined a lot of the trip and uh, she was gonna watch the kids a little so I could take the wife out on her birthday and like I never even got to do any of that. Um, like I said, there's just always, there's always one that it just, man, it's tough. Anyway, I'm just whining. It's just crazy, because y'all remember me. You remember how much fun I used to have. And maybe I was always this way and was just hiding behind alcohol, because most of the time you guys saw me, I was drinking a lot and stuff, but you know, I don't, I can't drink. Um, maybe I should smoke pot, but like, I don't want to, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even want to take the pills I'm on. I take like four pills a night, and then plus my migraine pills, like you guys wouldn't believe how many of those I eat. Anyway, this is why I don't make videos, y'all. This is why I kind of stopped, and I and I would make videos with my kids doing Pokemon, and just. And then what happened with that was our luck was, you know, it would be so bad sometimes that it would come out in our videos and we wouldn't post them. And it just seems like I'm ruining a lot. But anyway, a lot of you guys have known for a long, long time. A lot of you guys still see some of my posts on Twitter and stuff and like I'm not that active on Facebook no more. I deleted Instagram. Uh, you know, I wish I could, I need to break the Twitter thing. Just I always have to have something where I can vent my frustrations or whatever. It makes you feel crappy because people don't deserve it, man. Y'all are some awesome people. There's so many good people out in this world and uh, you don't deserve like this version of me. You deserve a better version of me. My family deserves a better version. So anyway, not sure if I'll post this, but I probably will. I mean, what the hell? I've always been very transparent. I'm not looking for a sob story. You guys don't need to like, don't feel sorry for me or nothing. Just if you're praying type, like I'll take those all day, every day. Hopefully my results from my MRI come back supposed to get seen every six months and finally after 13 months I got seen and because uh, the VA and Health First couldn't get their referral process down and uh, they screwed me pretty hard but hopefully I get these results soon and maybe that's a lot of my anxiety is 
not knowing, you know, what my carotids are doing and how the blockage is doing and how the aneurysm is doing. Like, I don't, I don't know. You know, it's not like I can go look in the mirror and go, yep, this one's doing good. It's, it's a little scary. And uh, I guess that could cause some problems. But anyway, I'm over 10 minutes. I've ran, like rambled enough. <laughs> but miss you guys. And uh, for some of you that still talk to me all the time, and even if I don't get back to you, like I struggle with that too. With like, there's just times where I disappear. And it's I don't know, but I do appreciate you guys and uh, respect the hell out of so many of you that are still on here grinding and doing your YouTube thing and making videos. And I, uh, I hope you guys have some awesome pools. And I watch your videos. I usually watch them on my Roku TV, so I don't comment. But I still watch a lot of y'all's videos. So. Anyway, take care, everybody. See you.